Well, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coach, representing here in Tokyo in Tulsa 2018 in beautiful downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma. We have been having a crazy blast here. It has been a lot of fun. As you know, we always try to bring you the voice actors because that's what you guys love seeing. And we brought one more for you. It got some of his time, but we're going to keep this one short because Jeremy Edmund is in the house with us. Jeremy, we know you're on the tight schedule. That's all right. Man, <laughs> thank you so much for taking time out to thank join us. Thank you for having me. No, man. So you told me this is not your first time in Tulsa. This is your fifth one? I want to say fifth, maybe fourth. Wow. I started my first, I can tell you my first one was uh, 2010. Okay. 2010. Maybe nine. Which one? What state? I'm going to lean on 10, though. Okay. Yeah. Was it in Oklahoma or? Uh, yeah, here. It, it was, was here. at this Yeah, one. we actually stayed at the Doubletree. Oh, and, sweet. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about it. When we it was about half the size, though. So you've watched one. this baby grow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, None of this was here uh, when I was here uh, in 2009 or 10 or right. maybe 11, probably 10. I don't know. It was a while ago. But none of this was here. Uh, this is all new. I think maybe even, like they had a dealer's room and an artist's room and stuff, but it was all more pushed back that way. Right. Um, so all this new expansive in the in expanse into the convention center, this is all bigger. Oh. No, man, newer. this is nice. And then the upstairs rooms, yeah. here are all the panels. No, this has really been a nice setup. I love it. So we, plus I like how they opened it up and it's a lot more room to walk through yeah. here. Yeah. You just start doing cons and it's no room. Yeah. So Those are the bigger cons. Let's talk about something. Now, okay. back in the day when I was a wee lad and I was trying to watch Robotech, you had to get lucky and hope somebody <laughs> had a VHS that had continuous episodes and maybe it was in English. Maybe. Maybe. But now we got simul dubs. You, how long have you been in the industry? How long have I been in the industry? Yeah. Since 2018. No, that's this year. No. Sorry, it's been a long day. Since 2000. So 18 years, yeah. and you've seen it grow yes. basically like I've watched it grow. Yeah. What do you think about it? It's crazy. It's when I got into the business, I didn't even know what anime was. I didn't know. I but I watched Robotech as a kid, so I used to watch. Ro I used to watch anime, not knowing it was anime. Exactly. I just thought it was a cartoon that was cool, with lions that turn into a robot. No, the ro the Robotech. That's Voltron. That, yeah, I Voltron that one too. was the, yeah. Robotech. I was into as a kid. Like that was my soap opera. Exactly. For an eight-year-old. It, it was it drama. Drama, was, love yeah, story. The, the, I guess it's Gundam. The, they flew the planes, and they turned into mech suits, and it was cool. And people was actually really died. into it. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. So, and I didn't know that was considered anime at all. And then I got work doing Dragon Ball Z, and man. I still didn't know what anime was. I just got cast in it, and that was in 2000. Wow. Mm -hmm. Funimation. Yeah. Did you go through the open audition or did you have no. a friend that called you? How I did it work? I had a friend that did a bit part or mm -hmm. a small part. And I just like everybody that wants to be a voice actor, I asked him, how do you get into that? And at the time, there wasn't, it was 2000 in North Texas. So there wasn't a huge, mm -hmm. you know, they asked, Kara, what you just interviewed, was telling the story last night about, they put an ad in the paper, actual physical paper, if you remember what that was. Yeah four actors to come audition, but I just found it from a, heard it from a friend, it was like, they might need guys. So he gave me Chris Sabat's number, and I called him and I went and auditioned, and Man. the rest is history. That name, so much pops up on yeah, your show. But it's it not Chris. that easy anymore. Yeah. I'm a full-time director now at Funimation. And um, it's, I, don't, I don't even know, I can't even tell you how many times we have just open week-long auditions mm -hmm. at Funimation because of the simulcast season. Right. Um, we're on a sh I'm on two episodes a week. Mm -hmm. uh, we're following the Japanese uh, production schedule as far as release and broadcasting, at least by a week, wow. two weeks. Some of them are same day or so. So it's really tight. There's not even time to audition anymore. Sometimes yeah. you get lucky, sometimes you get a couple days if you have a show that's going to require it. Right. So it's really give and take as far as just how much it's grown and just how much people used, just the way people used to get into it then mm -hmm. versus now, it's no, crazy. It's, it's, a, it's like you love seeing it grow, but at mm. the same time, it does have those headaches that come with it. Mm. Now, big difference for you from going to acting to directing? Yeah, yeah, I was not <laughs> Yes, I'm a better voice director than I am voice actor, and I've been saying that for years. I'm kind of shocked and amazed I still have a career in it. <laughs> That's <laughs> but, awesome. 
I'm glad I do. I yeah. was a firefighter paramedic when I auditioned for Dragon Ball Z oh, in wow. 2000. And I thought that was my that was my career path. I had done theater and acting before. Mm -hmm. and that's how I knew the guy that was doing it. And then I got that part and continued voice acting. And then fast forward 18 years, now I'm full-time director wow. with Funimation. That's my journey. So who's the but first character you got with DBZ? Android 16. So you were Android 16. That was like, this is it, day one. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. And then, so you had to do it, what, through all the movies? Mm -hmm. The games. Everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I never think about it. You guys really do voice your characters in the games for Bandai Namco half mm -hmm. the time. So, yeah. Oh, wow. So There's PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe a little Xbox and maybe, yeah. So yeah. and I think there was one on the PSP. So yeah, you've done them all. Yeah. Man, that is a that's a crazy busy schedule. <laughs> now what are you directing there at Funimation right now? I just wrapped. I'm gonna be a shameless plugger, but I this last season was a couple of my favorite shows I've ever got the chance to direct. Right. Uh, Space Battleship Tiramisu. It's a comedy and it's hilarious and there's a lot of. Uh, jokes and they're only seven minutes long mm -hmm. and the other one is an action adventure show called golden comway um which is really really good it's, hey, we hear it's, a lot uh, about it <laughs> being somebody who didn't know what anime was getting into anime i'm always excited to work on projects that i call anime for people that don't watch anime because it's a good mainstreamable that's a word now yeah uh product or show that you can show to people who may have a negative opinion about anime or never really watched it before or think anime is just this one thing where it's you know big eyes and girls in short skirts running around with magic wands or whatever right this is a real it's very cinematically done uh the characters are really compelling the story is really good yeah uh it's just a good good show Man. it's based in turn of the century hokkaido japan post russo japanese war mm -hmm. and um you should just go check it out all right you heard it right there streaming on funimation I mean, this is the best plug we've ever got. We're just going to send this one to you, Funimation. There's your commercial. It's a wrap. We're done. We shoot your commercials now. That's how Seamless right. works. Okay, man. Shameless we, plug. I appreciate you coming on the no show. Problem. Thank Thanks you for so having much. Me. Now, how can they catch you on social media? Where can the fans find uh, you? Twitter at I believe it's at Inman Jeremy. It's mm -hmm. either at Inman Jeremy or at Jeremy Inman. Okay, we'll go look. It'll show up. I think if you type Jeremy Inman, it'll work. Uh, Facebook, I have a page, uh, Jeremy Inman, voice actor, director. Okay. And Instagram, I'm just, it's Jeremy Inman. Or okay. Inman Jeremy. I confuse Instagram and Twitter, but whatever. I'm, I'm going to go do the work, and I'll put them down here at the bottom <laughs> of the video for you. Jeremy was Give nice enough to third. tell us. We're going to put them right there. Give me a lower third graphic. You know? <laughs> we'll hook him up. We'll have him down there, and you go follow it. There now, you go. After this one, any big cons planned after this one? I'm going to Minneapolis at the end of August. So come check it out if you're watching this and in the Minneapolis area. area. Oh, I can't remember the name of the Alex con, Lopez, though. you are in that area, so you can't say we didn't give you a warning. Buy your ticket now. Don't be broke. There we go. I'll <laughs> Don't say be that. broke. I can say that to him. He's my best friend. Don't be broke. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Man, once again, thank you so much Thanks for coming on the me. show with us. Thank you. Hey, guys. This is it. We're going to be here all day. Uh, we still got more actors coming up. Still going to be doing these interviews. If you like what you see, make sure to follow Jeremy. I'm going to put the information down there. It's going to be somewhere. I don't know where Reed's going to put it. So I'm going to just lower it here. Or quarter hat over here somewhere. Oh, that would be beautiful. Can I have a disembodied head? <laughs> that guy, that. The, the cameraman's like, I yeah. can do that. Okay. <laughs> I can just, just embody my head. There we go. I can do this. I can twitch my eyes around a lot. <laughs> Like this? No? Does that work? <laughs> I did a little video work before in my life, so. This guy will be our guy that'll do it. And you, you make sure if you like this, push that subscribe and follow me. Keep supporting it. And as we always say, please be kind to one another and peace.